Capital punishment is the legally authorized killing of a criminal as punishment for a crime he or she has committed. Although capital punishment has immensely decreased throughout the United States, it still remains a truly debatable topic. My initial position on this topic is that the use of capital punishment should be abolished in the United States. I believe that it is a harsh and immoral punishment that criminals are sentenced to face in result of their crime. Although a criminal has committed a crime that was unacceptable, the justice system does not have the right to put a person to death if they are trying to make a point not to commit heinous crimes in the first place. After conducting research examining both the pros and the cons of capital punishment, I continue to believe that capital punishment should be abolished in the United States. According to Whitehead, most Western nations have eliminated capital punishment, making America one of the three industrialized democracies still carrying out capital punishment. Capital punishment violates human rights by the government forcing the death of a human and undermining human dignity, which is inherent to every human being. According to an overview of the death penalty, societies should avoid killing as retribution because societies should hold themselves to a higher standard than that of the criminals being tried. In the Furman v. Georgia case, the Supreme Court overturned the death sentence of William Furman because they believed it to be a cruel and unusual punishment according to the Eighth Amendment. The Supreme Court's decision in the Furman v. Georgia case led to a suspension of future executions until better standards could be set, which demonstrates the problems correlated with the death penalty. Another flaw I found in capital punishment is that many innocent people are wrongly convicted and executed for crimes they did not commit. Mario Kumu has studied the death penalty for more than half his life and claims that the official power to kill by execution has never elevated a society, never brought back a life, and never inspired anything but hate. However, it has killed many innocent people. The result in a loss of an innocent life could also be considered murder. For example, Cameron Todd Willingham was convicted and put on death row for allegedly setting a fire that killed his three kids. However, since his death, an investigation suggests he was innocent. According to the Innocent Project, 17 people have been proven innocent, exonerated by DNA testing, after serving on death row. Many individuals go to their deathbeds innocent of the crimes they are charged with. There is a danger that innocent people will be executed because of errors in the criminal justice system. Although people like Mul Hussein believe that capital punishment does deter crime and save lives, Delcor states that almost all the chiefs surveyed and ranked the death penalty last among their priorities for crime fighting because based on murder rates, it does not deter homicides. According to Whitehead, there is no convincing evidence that the death penalty is a deterrent to future violent crimes. Jack Whale believes that criminals believe their chances of going to jail are slight. Therefore, they also assume that their chances of being executed are equally slight. If criminals know there is a high possibility of being sent to jail, then they also know there is a high chance of being put to death. Whale believes that the only way to decrease crime rate is to refine the efficiencies of police services and courts. The actual cost of the death penalty is much greater than life imprisonment. Whitehead states that some studies estimate that states spend 48% to 300% more prosecuting cases in which the death penalty is an option versus cases in which it is not. He also states that it costs more than $2 million to execute just one person. Derek Schmidt argues that despite the excessive cost of the death penalty, punishment is still needed, no matter what the cost. However, Delcor believes that when state budgets are low and cutbacks are the norm, maintaining the high cost of the death penalty is illogical. The money can be used elsewhere and help fund programs such as education, after-school activities, and public safety programs that could actually improve communities. After conducting this research, I believe capital punishment is a wrong and immoral type of punishment used in the criminal justice system and should be replaced with a humanistic method to deal with crime. Execution is a violation of the Eighth Amendment, which prohibits cruel and unusual punishments.